Anthony Cambers, George here. Um, yep, still working on my uh, winter camp outfit. Um, I think I have it set up right now the way I want it. Um, I'm planning on a camping trip, uh, just an overnight um, in the snow. Uh, winter trip, it'll be a first time for me. So uh, because it's a first time, um, I have to make sure I got everything I need and uh, hopefully it'll do for the trip. So, um, the weather report for the trip is saying about 23 degrees and about 10 degrees as a low at night. So uh, I've been waiting a while for the weather to change. It's been a lot colder than that here in Minnesota. So it looks like it's changing for a couple of days. So I want to take advantage of it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working uh, on my pack. So I thought I'd go out with my winter loadout and go over it with you. And uh, you can see what I plan to take with me and how I pack it. Like I said, it's the first time for me. Never done this before in the snow and the cold. So I'm hoping I'm prepared. So as you can see, I'm going to be taking my... Uh, uh, medium Alice pack with me and the way I have it packed right now you can see down here this is I'm going to be using my Shamog as a uh, thing to keep my camera and my phone warm so that I don't have any problems with that I'll be keeping it on me um, I'll have my camp knife on my belt and these gizmos here will be for my boots um, to help me get on the ice and I know that the trip uh, will include walking about a mile or so into the bush and I know the path has some ice on it so I'll have that on my boots and hopefully that'll stop me from slipping um, anyway back to the pack you can see um, the Alice pack here uh, this here is my sleep system which is a sleeping bag with a 77% uh, wool blanket uh, actually inside the sleeping bag this here is my tent and as you can see it fits it's fit fitted just behind my uh, sleep system. On my Alice pack, um, as if you watched my videos before, I added two pouches to the side, which are um, actually uh, saw 200 round pouches, military style, that just fit on the, uh, on the Alice system. So that worked out well. I do have my um, camp axe, and then I've got my three pouches and my main compartment here. So uh, let's go through everything. Uh, we'll go through pouch by pouch and you can see how I packed up. So here's the uh, electronics bag that I have in my, which goes in the left pack. Um, that left saw pack that I have on my Alice pack and I have the dry bag which keeps all my electronics and I have my notebook uh, which just sits next to it I have um, a little pen light that and I have a couple of these they work great I find them pretty handy they are like a little lantern as well you can see there how that slides up and down and makes a flashlight great little flashlight I've done reviews on that I have spare batteries for it, a couple of uh, uh, AAA batteries. Um, this here is a backup battery charge, and that is for really for my cell phone, which I use most of the time for my camera. Um, my GoPro head mount, my uh, Hero 4 GoPro, um, a spare uh, storage card, and uh, two batteries, fully charged, so I have three batteries for my GoPro. And this little backpack takes all the GoPro stuff. I just keep it all together in there. So that's my uh, um, electronics pouch um, that I have on my Alice pack. This pouch here is just my uh, uh, a water bottle pouch that I keep a uh, nail jean water bottle in it. Uh, that'll have water in it. I'll also have um, my canteen which will have water in it there. I'm not going to carry a lot of water. It is just an overnighter. So that's in that pouch there. This pouch here will have um, all my first aid stuff. And in here you can see I have my first aid kit. 
um, which I've been through before. I did a quick two-minute tip on it. And then here I have my uh, water system, uh, Catadine water system. Um, just a, a big bottle and a small bottle, and you just fill it. Uh, the big uh, bottle, which they, they're plastic, they fill up, um, is a three liter. The other one is a one liter. So I'll have this if I need water. I will be camping close to a river, so if I find I need water, I've got that. So that'll be in that pouch right there. This pouch here contains my possibles pouch and some working uh, gloves just a pair of leather gloves that I have I've learned the hard way not having gloves when chopping up wood and things like that so this is a um, pretty good pair of uh, leather gloves that I have and then my possibles pouch right here which uh, actually has um, my fire starter kit um, you know things like that it actually has a folding saw in there as a spare uh, pair of eyeglasses that i carry with me at all times i have a trash bag i always carry with me um, here's my fire starting kit and uh, you can see it's i have some 550 cord my compass um, i have another one of those pen lights and uh, my spare set of eyeglasses and my folding saw so uh, that'll be used for, uh, for wire and um, wire for chopping up the wood and whatever and then a couple of other things I have in here is I have a little multi-tool and I have a pair of clippers and uh, some hand warmers which is part of a gift that I got over Christmas I thought I'd keep it in there so that's my possibles pouch which goes in this pouch right here and on the right hand saw pouch um, is going to be my food bag. I have uh, some dry bags, obviously nothing in there. Um, this bag has a couple of snacks and um, some trail mix and that, but I'll be packing my dinner. Basically, um, I'll just be having one really cooked meal, which will be in the evening, because it is just an overnight. I'm not sure what I'm going to take yet. Um, be something simple, uh, my normal fare. So we'll see from there. Um, I do have my Chogan Tomahawk here in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this. Um, it's fairly heavy. I do like it and it would be a good thing to uh, use to chop up wood, but I don't plan on uh, big stuff. I just need a fire for a couple of hours and I'm hoping that my folding saw and my uh, camp knife will be enough to make up some wood for a fire. And uh, in my top pouch here, um, this is a quick access pouch. Well, reasonably quick because uh, it has these over them. I put on those quick releases. Um, the original Alice pack didn't have these. I cut them and added them in for a quick release. Uh, so in this pouch, I just have access to... Let me hold on a second. Um, you can see in here I have a spare uh, set of gloves that I have. Um, that'll probably be just in case my uh, woolen gloves get too wet and too cold um, I do have my headlight which is just an ever ready uh, headlight that I'll have with me and inside I have my frog tog um, uh, poncho that I have just in case if it starts to get really wet when wet snow or anything like that I can put that on keep me dry so that's in this top quick access pouch um, and then obviously inside I have my main stuff, which I'll go over with you right now. So in my main compartment up top here, um, I'll have a change of clothes. It's actually my sleeping kit, which I'll be sleeping in, which is a pair of uh, warm undies and a warm long sleeve shirt and a change of socks. Now I have two. I have those woolen socks and then I have these insiders um, from Clam. Uh, which stop your feet from sweating. I'll start with the clam. Then if my feet are still cold, I'll put on the woolen socks um, In here I have my uh, hygiene pouch toothbrush toothpaste um, Some hand sanitizer that sort of thing um, I have my pillow my camp uh, Kitchen which is in a dry bag. I've been over that before 
Um, I'll put a link on the top of the video here. Uh, my pillow is something I take with me. It's from my surgery. It was given to me for my surgery. It's the shape of a heart. It's just uh, something I carry with me all the way, and it's a, it's a really good pillow. This here is my um, blow-up mattress. Underneath here, um, I have a reflective safety um, sheet, or whatever you call that, a reflective on one side and orange on the other, and that'll be underneath my sleeping bag just to reflect the heat up through the mattress, that sort of thing. So that's actually down in the bottom. I also have a sitting pad that I'll have there to keep myself dry. I've uh, got to keep my bottom dry. I'm going to be sitting down. I'm sure there's going to be snow everywhere. So there you go. That's in the main pouch. Um, I think that covers everything. And you can see what's in there. So uh, hopefully I have everything ready. Um, I had to cut back on a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff that I uh, took out because I tend to overpack and I went through it again. So there you have it. This is my first winter snow camp uh, set up. Hopefully it'll do for me. We'll soon know because in a couple of days I'm going out and going to go camp. Uh, there'll be a video for that obviously and I'll make some comments on how we did. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story.